Welcome to the next round of Ski Tube. I know you've all been asking the big question, where are the sticks? Well, here's your answer. Today we're gonna break out some poles and we're gonna learn how to do them safely and effectively. So stick around. are awesome tools for skiing and they really help us get where we need to go. But one thing we really want to think about is they're pretty pokey down here. Ouch. Make sure that poles are only for skiing, only for the snow, and we always want to keep our tips down. For sizing our poles, we want them somewhere between our armpits and our nose. Too tall is a little bit too big and too low is a little bit hard to work with. So these are about, seems pretty good. I dig it. When we go to put them on, we can open up the strap and we're gonna take our hands. We can come up like a rabbit or a gopher popping through a hole. We come up from the bottom, and then we can come through and squish our straps between our glove and our pole. That gives us a really nice solid angle to push off from. Once we've got both our poles on, when we go to use them, we can poke right ahead of our toes and push all the way back to get a nice push off. When we're using our poles, it's not just about our arms, it's about our whole body too. So one thing we want to think about is not bending over like a dipping bird, but pretending like we're in an imaginary chair, sitting down every time we go to pole stroke. Man, this is such a great day out. When we go to use our arms, we want to think about a Goldilocks kind of deal here. We don't want to be too far, or we're not going to be able to pull anything. But we also don't want to be too close like a T-Rex, or it's really hard to go anywhere. But if we go right in the middle, with our arms making a nice square, then we get a really nice, powerful push off. Man, the skiing is phenomenal. I got great sun, I got some great mountains, and I always have some good company when I'm out on the trails too. My friends love to ski and I try to bring them out with me as much as I can, even if they've never even done it before. One of the most important things about our ski poles is remembering that they're pretty sharp on the bottom and we only ever want to use them for skiing and we want to keep our tips down. That way we're only using them for our pushing off. A minute ago we talked about using both our poles and sitting in an imaginary chair, but sometimes we want to do something called striding. When we're striding, we want to think about always using our opposite arm with our opposite leg. I almost feel like I'm Tarzan swinging vine to vine as I push from one leg to the other Opposite arm, kick, push to opposite leg. All right, well with that, we're gonna journey on our way up to Northwest Alaska, and we're gonna see what some of our fellow skiers are doing while they use their sticks. And remember, they're always focused on where they're planting their tips. They've got some nice double pull, they might be switching their opposite sides and they've got some really awesome Tarzan arms. They're moving their arms all the way up, all the way back, and they're just always keeping their tips right down in the snow and not up high in the air. Our challenge this week is now that we've learned about poles, let's see if you can use your arms and your legs to go on a village adventure with a buddy. See if you can hit some of the main spots in your community. And also just a reminder, you can check out skis with your local community ski teacher Remember, you can return your skis, boots, and poles for a stamp reward from your instructor. Awesome, so today we talked about pole safety a little bit, putting our poles on with a couple different styles. We did some double poling, some striding, a little bit of Tarzan arms. We're super stoked to see you next week for extreme downhill shredding adventures.